so we're gonna talk here in this video about automations and uh, as usual i'm gonna give you an example and we'll try to understand a problem statement which is again it's very important for you to understand and then we'll see how uh, what solution inside salesforce can help us to fix the problem okay so the problem statement is this we have already discussed about uh, something called lead management in our first few sessions where we talk about sales cloud and we discuss about lead management what is lead lead means people who are interested in my business they may buy the product they may not but they are interested now uh, the problem statement or the business requirement is this a lead can be onboarded from any cities let's say if the lead city is new york then something is going to happen some automations uh, that the system has to take care of so my first requirement is whenever a lead gets onboarded with a city called new york then the first automation i want immediately to happen is a task supposed to be created under the lead automatically we discuss about task right in the activity you see so uh, suppose same example that we will take that we have already discussed in the um, activity management part that there's a background verification team and uh, the background verification team member is let's say testing user so whenever um, a lead gets created with city new york a task will be automatically created under the lead and been assigned to the testing user if city is let's say nj and some other city then the task will be created and assigned to some other user i have no user apart from testing user so i'm just taking this example that whenever a leads a lead data gets created okay if city is equal to new york then then what are the automation that i want to happen at the first automation your task will be created and the task will be assigned to whom assign to as of now testing user okay understand this example as a generic example because uh, if you understand this example i'm pretty sure that any requirement that comes up to you as an admin you can actually fulfill that requirement okay so a uh, testing user will get the task assigned immediately whenever a lead gets created or leads gets created and updated so understand this updated thing suppose a lead named alex got created with some other city and somebody actually edited that lead and changed the city to new york in this case the same thing is going to happen in this case the task will be created and assigned to um testing user so whenever a lead gets created or updated okay if system finds the city is equal to new york then first automation is the task will be created under the lead and assigned to the testing user all right next automation is this in the lead object there's a field called um lead source you know what is lead source lead source is basically a field where business capture from which source the lead has been onboarded whether the lead has been created from a marketing channel or from a campaign or from a digital marketing or from whatever you know sometime what happened the business they used to purchase a list of leads okay so uh, for an example let's say any leads come from the city called new york okay the lead source would be automatically purchase list no matter if you as a business user select this lead source as purchase list or not or something else automatically the lead source will be purchase list if city is equal to new york that's my second automations this is called field update okay so my second automation that i i the business want immediately to happen in the system is system will check whenever a lead gets created or updated what is the city is the city new york yes then immediately to create a task and then immediately it will update the field what field lead source field to what purchase lead so the lead source 
field would be automatically purchased that's my second automation that i want immediately to happen in the system my third automation is this for an example let's say business wants to onboard a lead and whenever a lead gets created the lead should get an email um, in this particular email address saying hi lead welcome to the xyz company okay and your lead owner name rajesh will get back to you that's what uh, kind of a auto email i want to send to this email lead email could be anyone okay for an example i'm taking this um, lead should get an email but you can actually send the email to the owner or somebody in this org to notify whether a lead has been created or not just to make it more clear right let's say you have a person um, who is the supervisor of any new york leads person name is testing user whenever a lead gets created with city as new york the testing user will get an email notification saying hey you got a lead from the city new york right so an email notification will go to whom to the testing user i don't have many other users so i'm just using testing user by the way this is a generic requirement the task can be created and assigned to anybody any fields or multiple fields can be updated not only the lead source and any email can go okay just to understand this automation i'm just giving a generic example so email alert is my third automation i want who should get the email testing user okay user should get an email saying hi testing user you got a new lead onboarded from city new york that's my third automation fourth automation i want in my system to happen is this business requirement is whenever a lead gets created lead are basically the raw customers who are interested who may or may not buy the product now business said that you know what whenever a lead is getting created make sure that lead data has been pushed to the erp system for some reason they are actually storing the data into the erp system correct so whenever a lead comes in into the salesforce system if city is equal to new york everything should happen uh, based on a criteria based on a reason right so any lead gets created inside salesforce with city is equal to new york that leads phone mobile fax email status every single thing should be transferred to the erp system so my fourth automation is what is an outbound message so outbound message is basically whenever a lead gets created with city is equal to new york system i mean salesforce system will automatically send an email to the erp system saying there's a lead gets created and this is the lead data this is the lead name email status and so and so all right so this is what my requirement whenever a lead gets created or updated if the city is this then this fourth thing should happen immediately by the way immediately okay if i want to go ahead and implement this particular automation inside salesforce we have something called workflow by the way automation is something uh, a very important feature that's why people or the customer they use crm crm it's not only a software which will help us to hold the customer data but also it's a software which will do a lot of automations in the automation we will learn how workflow can help you as an admin to do the automations then there are certain things that workflow cannot do some limitations that limitations how do you cover up with something called process builder got it so process builder is another uh, automation tool in salesforce which will help us to um, extend something that cannot be done through workflow now workflow and process builder is are uh, the back end automation we have another automation tool called flow this is also a very interesting uh, feature that salesforce has and i do recommend every single admin should be like very 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 comfortable with workflow process builder and flow if you are pretty much comfortable with these three thing then lot of things without writing a single line of code you can um you can do it inside salesforce i see so many people they come and started writing code because they are coming from java background or some coding background so whenever they get a requirement they try to write code and make this happen which is possible technically there is no problem if you write code and make all this automation right like task creation field update and everything but salesforce recommendation is this 
if something can be done with point and click and configuration with admin stuff then you have to do it through that if something cannot be done like we're going to talk about few scenarios where process builder also cannot help you this is where you have to write the apex code or trigger which to to extend that but until unless things can be done to the stand, standard configuration you as an admin have to follow that the reason is this right see any standard configuration like workflow process builder which is not a code it has very low maintenance you don't have to uh, maintain that code when you write a code the code might break i have seen so many code when it goes to production it just break why the code has not been maintained with the best practices and all so as much as possible uh, things can should be done through um, the admin and the point i um, mean drag and drop things like all these workflow process builder and flow and if you find things are not possible through this then you have to write code by the way we will learn end to end of this okay uh, after this three sessions workflow process builder and flow we will be like pretty much comfortable to automate anything with this three thing this video we just discuss about this requirement remember the requirement in the next video we're going to start implementing this requirement with something called workflow all right so see you in the next video with workflow concept thank you